Do not consult mediums. Do not talk to necromancers because we as humans are not prepared for the interaction. We see a being that is indescribably beautiful, a being of light, and we assume he's one of the good guys. But even Satan appears as an angel of light. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I pray you are all blessed, all glory to Yahuwah. As you can see in the title today, I wanted to just speak about some of the deception when it comes to like good and bad spirits, ghosts um, and demons, because I think this is something that's really, really important because the deception is incredible. And I fell into the trap for quite a long time and I really hope and pray that that doesn't happen to other people. And also just to kind of share my experiences with that. But yeah, so if you are interested in hearing more, keep listening so in the new age movement particularly in like spirit um spirituality and even when you watch like paranormal activity type programs or people that do like you know like ghost hunting para paranormal activity type stuff you see a lot of people speak about and again i can't speak for everyone because people have slightly different beliefs within within certain things that people follow but you see a lot of people and i used to do this as well speak about like good and bad spirits um and like ghosts and when I came to when I came out of deception, praise you for pulling me out of that. I started to realize that this this really wasn't a thing, and that I was under quite a lot of deception, and it's been quite sneaky. Um, and I realized that they were just demons. There was no such thing as like good and bad spirits. And I just really wanted to go into that a little bit more. Again, I really pray that this helps some people. This isn't to like unrighteously judge people in any type of way. Like I said, I followed and fell into this trap for like eight to 10 years. I believe the same thing. And like, it's totally understandable because it's a great trap that's been set up by um, by Satan. And I just wanted to explain a little bit more about um, the difference between the two and how I came out of that deception. So like I said, I used to believe in like good and bad spirits. And you hear a lot of people that deal with paranormal activity stuff say the same thing. Oh, some are good, some are bad. And I always say there's no such thing. I think the most important thing to understand is scripture talks about Lucifer, Satan being um, an angel of light and very, very deceptive. And I always think of it, if you're going to deceive someone, if you really want to deceive someone deeply, especially for a long time, you're not going to come all out with the evil right in their face. It's much easier to reel people in and manipulate them when you're acting like you're all nice and whatever, when secretly you've got another agenda. And this is basically what these demons are doing um, because they, 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 they understand the human nature so that they know our weaknesses. They're, that's how they're able to tempt, you know? Um, and we show them them obviously a lot of the time because they can't read our minds. Um, and it's, it's interesting when you see the difference between the two because these things are very, very deceptive and there's a hierarchy. So I always see it like, um, like an army, like a, like military structure. There's a hierarchy. So there's seven, um, princes of hell. I'm not going to read out the names and I always suggest people don't like me shouting the names out loud and stuff like that. Uh, Lucifer being one, but I'm not going to read out all the, all the names of the uh, of the others. Um, and then there's obviously ones that are below. There is a hierarchy. Now I've studied a little bit and I want to do a lot more, but I've watched some um, people that are experted in like demonology and, and study this. And it's really, really interesting when you when you listen to some of the lectures and you and you start to study a little bit about demonology, because it does add up with what obviously is said biblically. And you start to realize that these things are these things are deceptive. Um, they absolutely hate us because whether people know it or not, we are made in the image of God. And these things want to drag us to hell with them because they know exactly where they're going. We get repentance, obviously. So they hate us. They don't have that. They know where they're going and they want to drag us down with them. And this is why they will do anything to deceive us. And a lot of people have these things in their house. I always think, I don't know how people just have these things in their house, but I don't think people equate a lot of bad things happening into their lives from opening spiritual doors. Because when we do things that open spiritual doors through sin or through doing like, you know, certain white or black magic or, you know, certain stuff to do with demons, whatever it is that we're doing. Sometimes we don't understand that some of these, some of the bad things that happen within our life or, you know, for example, like illnesses or certain things going on in our personal life can be down to the fact that we're opening these spiritual doors. Um, and it's not to say that it's like direct, it's not, it's not directly blaming it on yourself or anything like that, but it's understanding that these things have an influence. I always say to people, sometimes it's, it's not, um, it's not thoughts you're hearing, it's voices. You know, and, and sometimes these things are trying to physically tempt us, you know, there, there's voices within our ear, there's temptations being put, there's situations being put in front of us, you know, the devil is the tempter. 
And this is how they're, they're able to deceive us. A lot of people that deal with the demon world or take psychedelics and end up dealing with the, the demonic, the, the spiritual world, um, because we're not told to do this biblically. So it's not a thing that's of God. So again, you're only connecting with things that aren't of God when you're doing these type of things. And when people connect with these demons, a lot of the time they'll say, oh, it was all lovely. And I, I saw these alien figures and there was colors. And, and, and this is why you understand that. They, and sometimes people say, oh no, I had a bad, you know, and I saw awful things. And there's times where the devil and these demons aren't gonna show them who show themselves for who they really are because they're trying to deceive us. And the best way to do that sometimes is to make it seem like it's something it's not. Like I said, these things aren't completely stupid. Um, and this is why we need Christ, obviously, because these things don't tremble at anything but the name of Yahusha Jesus Christ they're probably laughing at us when we're going around trying to like sage the air bring all these crystals and do all these type of protection things and all this crap these demons are laughing and a lot of the time when you see people doing these type of type of things their demonic activity doesn't stop there may be times where the demons are smart enough to move slightly differently because they don't want it to get to a point where someone's going to call on Christ to rid them because they don't want to be rid whether that's they're just within you know there, there's an attachment or whether there's an actual possession these things don't want to don't want to go and you can tell that when there was the story um where yahusha did an exorcism when he when he took a demon out of somebody and the demons were screaming like oh please just send me into the pigs you know these things don't want to go they really want to stay attached to you that's why sometimes it's hard to get them out depending on the type of demon you know these things are not they're not messing around and do not consult mediums do not talk to necromancers because we as humans are not prepared for the interaction we see a being that is indescribably beautiful a being of light and we assume he's one of the good guys but even satan appears as an angel of light the demonic realm the spirit realm they really don't have anything to gain by scaring literally scaring the hell out of us they would rather lull us into a false sense of security Amen, brother. the difference between fallen angels and demons is a simple one fallen angels can manifest corporeally. We read in the Bible a number of times where angels interact with humans and do physical things. Uh, they eat a meal with Abraham, they eat a meal with Gideon, uh, they, uh, they fight with the citizens of Sodom and things like that. Angels can appear in physical form. They can actually do physical things too because we read in Genesis chapter 6 about the angels who saw that the uh, human women were fair and chose wives or perhaps just took wives. Um, demons, on the other hand, are totally spirit. They need to inhabit a physical body in order to uh, interact with us in the physical plane. Uh, or, you know, they, they can they can oppress us, which you know can be a feeling of uh, depression or or dread, um, uh, anxiety. And this is why I say they must be laughing when we're doing these other things because these things know that doesn't work. They only tremble at the name of Yahushua, Jesus Christ. And any time that I've seen any type of testimony, and bear in mind, I've watched hundreds, especially during my research phase before I got saved. Any time that I watch testimonies or even speak to people I've, I've known, you know, the only thing, any time that they've like, even if they've not been in a believer, but they've seeked help, for instance, there was this one guy that bought this, um, he didn't have a lot of money, so he bought this caravan for him and his family, but someone had been murdered in it. Um, and there was a lot of demonic activity in the house. So that, and these people weren't believers, but their child was waking up screaming in the night, covers were being pulled off, like all types of mad things. They got to a point where they, they were going crazy. They're like, no, there's something off in this house. Um, and they called on a, they called on someone um, who, was, who was saved and they came round and well, they told them what to do, basically, in terms of like speaking the name of Yahusha, um, doing everything they had to do in the name of Christ and completely gone. No more demonic activity ever since. And you see that story time and time again. But with a lot of other things, when they've used other things or I see people using crystals, the demonic activity is still always around them because these things are attracted to a lot of this stuff, you know? A lot of things where you're actually opening doors. And I think that's that's the difference. When you see the name of Yahusha, Jesus Christ, being used, and the way someone reacts when you know that there's something demonic going on, it's very different to the way it reacts when you use something in New Age, for example. And that's another thing that I thought, hmm, that's very strange. Because even when you, you see a lot of reports from people that used to work on like these deep underground military bases, like you'll see some of these whistleblowers even say there's documents of this, of them. Some of them are even being interviewed where they'll say that they'd tell us, and these people aren't believers at the time, you know, they'd say they'd tell us, whatever you do, just don't don't use the name of Jesus Christ down there and things yeah, like that. Like I said, I mean, that's the one thing that we can do is rebuke anything in the name of Jesus. In fact, Greg Renrich, that was one of the things 
that he told me uh, he's the one that was uh, talking about seeing the, the giants in the deep underground military bases. He said that one of the first things that they had to do before he was allowed to go into S-4 or S-20 or any of the others, they made him sign an affidavit saying, you're not allowed to use the name Jesus Christ in these underground facilities, not even if you stubbed your toe or anything. And he said that he saw 10 to 25 foot tall giants in these underground bases and said that they were, you know, the human scientists and other people working side by side with them. He said that they even came right out and said they were the Nephilim. They, they came right out and said it. Um, when you see a lot of stories of people's testimony of hell or when they've died and come back, people that have been documented dead and come back and all these type of stories, a lot of them are described the same way as like reptilians would be described. These demons can take different forms, like some of them would describe that like alien type looking, some more reptilian type looking, um, and they're described exactly the same way that you hear some of these people describe some of these spirits, you know, like these like very tall shadows and things like that. And it's like these things are not good and it really saddens my heart when I know people are dealing with this because I think I don't know what type of destruction these things could be causing in this person's life and like or what type of like depression that could be putting on someone or anxiety these these things affect us the spiritual affects us way more than what people realize you know we can only really see the physical so we're only a lot of the time especially if people aren't strong believers they're locked into the physical not really understanding there's a whole spiritual world you know our soul's energy that's not going to die after you know and that's that's from yah that's from god and this is why i say like a lot of the time we don't see what's actually going on none of these things are good they're very very clever and this is why there's a hierarchy they know what they're doing they know our weaknesses and this is why i say we need christ there's no such thing as good and bad spirits and this is another deception that comes from the new age because they want people to mess with this type of stuff they want people to be involved with this type of stuff we know that a lot of these people a lot of these different experiments and stuff that's been going on there's many documents that have been linked with evidence of this stuff we know they're having co covenances with these entities as such and there's a different agenda going on. Now, when you listen to a lot of these whistleblowers or even read some of these, uh, these are proper government or FBI type documents. When you read these type of documents, you know, the way it's described, again, you, you can, you know, there's not a good agenda there. And this is why I think it's so sad when you see the, the deception between the two. You'll see a lot of people trying to connect with it and things like that. A lot of the time as well, it's like, you kind of feel it in your like in your gut, you know, like you just know when something's not good, you know, like, of course we have protection in terms of angels aside from the third that fell, um, you know, and that's a different type. It's a different type of like gut instinct when you know it's something spiritually from Yah, from God. Um, and any type of spirit entity is always a demon, you know, angels are very, very different from demons. So that's one thing to understand as well. Um, yeah, you're not going to get no angel it looks like some black shadow in the corner or some reptilian type thing. Um, definitely not. So even our angels can look very freaky, to be fair. Like, it's still a bit... Some of them still look freaky, but it's a different type of... It's a different type of feeling when it's something from Yah. Um, and it's something that's of the Holy Spirit. So, yeah, one thing to just be very clear on is to really understand the differential. And I want to read out some things in Scripture because the Bible speaks about them as familiar spirits. And this is why I say they're able to pretend like they're your grandma or whatever. They're so deceptive, you know, and they know certain things. So they're able to pretend that it comes as your grandma. Like, it's not your grandma. It's these demons a lot of the time that are... It's these demons that are deceiving us, sadly. So 1 Timothy 4, 1, the spirit clearly says that in later times, some would abandon the faith and follow in deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. So yeah, these spirits are deceiving. The only spirit that is not is the Holy Spirit. Anything other than that is demonic. 2 Corinthians 2, 11, in order that Satan might not out outwit us, for we are not aware of these schemes. And this is another reason why I say it's so important to understand how deceptive Satan is. When you look at what's going on in the world and the deception that the government put us under, and when you understand the amount of lies that you're under, there's a hierarchy that we know these occultists are uh, going to um, in terms of Lucifer. They're very, very aware of the schemes of the devil, you know, and a lot of people sadly are not aware of the amount of deception they're in. And this is why you have to be so careful. It's so easy to fall in so many traps when it comes to learning about the spiritual world and what's really going on and what the truth is. And this is why I've, I've spent so long like having to relearn everything that I got sort of brainwashed with in New Age. But yeah, and I, I really had to go into everything because I was like, right, I really need to know what the truth is. And like a lot of the time, like I never actually came and said, God, like if you actually are real, 
show me what the truth is, you know, until I actually did that, <laughs> I never got the answer I wanted, you know. Um, where was the other one that I wanted to read? James 2, 19, I like this verse. You believe that there is one God, good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. <laughs> the next verse is Leviticus 19, 31. Regard not them have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizard to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. And he says, it, and he's so strong on us not messing with anything like that because of the fact that he knows the deception and the destruction these things will cause on us. And God would hate to see that happen to us because he loves us. Isaiah 8, 19, and when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? Again, warning us not to seek these type of things. Isaiah 19, 3, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek the idols and, the, and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. Again, another verse talking about familiar spirits, Leviticus 26. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go to a, to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off amongst these people because it's a very serious sin to be messing with this type of stuff because of the destruction it causes. So the Bible will often speak about these things as familiar spirits and it's fitting in terms of how they can make themselves so familiar and pretend to be like a family member that's passed or something like that. These things are sick. And this is why it's like, if you're getting any of that type of activity in your house, you need to see Christ to get that out because there is nothing else that is gonna work to rid any of that stuff. Like I said, a lot of it is like putting a band-aid over something that's never gonna heal, you know? It's like getting bitten by a shark and just putting a band-aid on it. It's not gonna work. The demon might have to move differently for a bit if it thinks you're gonna maybe seek something more to try and rid it. But a lot of the time, if people don't believe in good and bad spirits and think these things are helping them, then unfortunately, it means that these things stay around, which is obviously what they want. Um, understanding that they're, we're not supposed to be connected like that. When it, There's not supposed to be a crossover like that in terms of us mixing with the spiritual in that type of way, you know? And this is the problem because when we're going after it, seeking after it ourselves, we're not going to God, you know? There's different when we go to God and when we ask for help or we ask for guidance and we ask for things, you know? If we're going off our own back and trying to seek all these different practices that we're learning from man, um, you know, because a lot of people that believe in these spiritual things have read things that are written by man and things like that. If we're going after all these type of things, we're going to be deceived. You know, we need to go off the one true God because that's the only way we're going to avoid this deception. And people have to understand, like, when you really study demonology and study the hierarchy, you understand how deceptive these things can be. And this is why I say to people, don't just fall for things straight away. Like, be on guard <laughs> because the deception is real, especially in the days that we're living today. The deception is real and the devil is ramping things up and these demons are going to be out in force. And this is why I say to people, you know, understand, like, when you st never study demonology without, like, covering yourself with the blood of Christ, <laughs> first of all, because you don't want to be getting wrapped up into anything. And also, you don't want to be wrapped up in deception. You want to make sure what you're learning is the truth and it's not more deception. But this is why I say we're, we're in the time where there's so much information. It speaks about this in the Bible. There's so much information that people are actually not knowledgeable anymore. <laughs> do, do you know what I'm saying? Because there's, like, such a wealth of information. There's so much crap out there as well. You know, th there's not actually true wisdom anymore. And this is, we need to get that from Yah. And this is why I always say to people just really make sure if you're falling straight into believing this good and bad spirits and you know like trying to you know use mediums to get rid of all these kind of things you're making the problem worse um and it's, it's you're just going around in a cycle and sometimes it can like i said it can be connected that things are going on don't let that thing drain you don't let that thing get the better of you because these things are not stupid and they count on us not understanding like and this is why i say like they had sometimes a devil has about better understanding of a lot of people of what's going on in terms of like the bible and stuff like that but it's so important that just I'm not saying believe me straight away, but I'm also saying just don't fall straight into it. Understand these things are like the spiritual world is way beyond. Like in our flesh, we can't even fully fathom it. So that's, we have to humble ourselves and understand that. I had to humble myself when I understood that I was wrong as well, but we have to humble ourselves and understand that it's much bigger than us. You know, the spiritual world is much more than what our little human brains can even fathom. So to think that we're not under deception, is not only extremely naive, it's stupid. 
you know and i always say like be humble enough to understand that you could have been deceived because i think some of it is our ego that stops us not with everybody you know but it's like we have to be we have to understand that these things the spiritual world is a lot more beyond us than what we can fathom whilst we're in our flesh so we have to understand there's a very large chance that we've been under deception so this is why i say do not just fall for these things and believe these things because of whatever you know it's something we've really got to make sure we pray on and heavily make sure that we're not being deceived i just think that's really really important to understand the difference because a lot of this good bad spirit stuff stems from new age like i said a lot of that stems from buddhism parts of hinduism you know parts of other pagan practices that we've been done in more ancient civilizations the more you start to go on in history the more you start to see what they're allowing and what they're not the more you start to see what they're trying to indoctrinate us with and the way they're like turning old wine into new wine and changing all the phases like i said thought concentration to law of attraction to get people to buy into it the way they allow all these posts to go up and people have millions of followers but not other stuff the way they'll put it on netflix like and that's just the tip of the iceberg you know the, the deeper i researched into the occult like and i don't suggest people reading this book unless you're saved and you and you're covered by christ but when you read like the satanic bible when you read books by um people like Alistair Crowley and and these kind of people like you understand how it is literally describing new age practices there's another book as well I highly recommend highly recommend in fact I'm going to leave the link below there's a video by this lady it's called hidden colors and she really goes into the depth of how she believes the new age movement is literally I think one she said it was ushering in the antichrist and two she related it I can't remember, she related it to something quite deep. Anyway, I'll leave the link below, but it's a very insightful video. Um, a very insightful video. The deeper you research into it, the more you see it's deception. And a lot of these types of beliefs about good and bad spirits come from that. Not all, you get some people that just believe in ghosts and do all these ghost hunting things and stuff like that. But it's, yeah, it's a worry because you think, you don't know what's attaching to these people. Even when you watch certain shows like Devin Brown, and you can see, you can literally see him attaching demons to people. Like, it's mad. The deeper you go into realizing where this stuff comes from, and when you study parts of demonology and the difference between demons, fallen angels, when you look at, or even when you look at, for example, like, um, the writings on the wall even from like Egyptian times and even ancient civilizations and how it adds up into some of the biblical stories the more you the more you research like because I've got a very logical brain so I've come from a very science like historical perspective I want to see all the evidence I want to read what historians say I want to read all of that like that's just the way my brain works and it's just so interesting when you see the amount of deception they're trying to put people under and this is why I say always make sure we're testing the spirit <laughs> always because like i said these things are very deceptive there is definitely no such thing as good and bad spirits there is such thing as demons and angels and some of them fell and that's about it Even when we're going back and looking at the sun gods and depicting up to fallen angels and what the fallen angels taught man and you can read that in some of the book of enoch one is very you can see the connection and this is the more you see that the more you start to realize that this good bad spirit thing is complete deception and I really hope and pray that people look into this a little bit more. Like, don't have to believe me. I'm just saying to people, ask God to show you the truth. Look into this stuff. Don't be deceived by going to these things, especially if you're saved. That's the last thing we want to be doing. But yeah, I say that to everybody. And I say that out of love because I don't want people to be fooled because I know how, how, I know how much these things hate us and I know how much deception they want to cause. And I know what these occultists that follow this that have a lot of influence over this physical world that we're in you can just see the agenda they're trying to pull through this so yeah i really really hope and pray that more people come out of this deception um the only way to rid anything like that that's in your house is to use the name of christ is to use jesus that is the only thing that is going to work that's the only thing that makes these demons tremble which is why a lot of the time they go against it but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and i am um, i hope to see you in my next video all glory to yahuwah Bye.